The focus in this squash cannon ball machine drill is to correctly time the movement to the ball, which is crucial if you want to end up at a favorable place to hit the ball. These first two examples show a typical scenario. Player is moving too quickly and setting his last foot too early. Usually not an ideal place, which leads to losing his balance. A two wall boast coming off the opposite side wall is a great shot to use, as it is very difficult to judge and players tend to overrun this kind of shot. The goal is to learn to time the entire movement from the tee correctly and that the last step is set right before striking the ball. Here you can already see a much improved movement, which not only leads to a better position, but also results in a rhythm. Having a rhythm is the end goal. It will not only facilitate shot execution, but also recovery back to the tee, and it wastes a lot less energy. After players are able to move at the right speed, have them learn to maintain a balance when striking the ball. Moving too fast to the ball makes it very difficult to stop and maintain a balance. Players will need to learn to avoid overstepping the ball to be able to recover quicker back to the tee. Being able to maintain a balance is only possible by timing the movement to the ball correctly, as you can see here. A very common and important aspect of any drill is how players wait on the tee. It's very important for players not to turn their body too much towards one side wall, to be comfortably able to move in either direction. The next step is to learn to move the racket together with the feet, which is a great help in slowing players down as well.